Today I'm going to be showing you how to find all relics in God of War Ragnarok. Now I'm going to leave this screen up for a few seconds so you have this reference point at the beginning of the video and then we'll jump into one by one how to find each relic. I'm also using a speech to talk program for this video trying something out because if it does go over well then this will allow me to get news updates out for you even faster. So hopefully this turns out well. Now we'll jump into all the relic locations. The first relic you can pick up is found as part of the story and literally cannot be missed. During chapter two, the quest for Tyr, you'll search the apple core mine for Tyr and solve the water trough puzzle to power a lift up to a room. Inside you'll find a crack in the wall where a dead dwarf has been trapped, and by freeing up the crack in the wall you will get the Talisman of Maine. The next relic can be found while on the main story path in Chapter 4, Gross Secret. After entering the Temple of Light, you'll need to solve light door puzzles to progress. After entering the large and teal room with the white light of Alfheim in the middle, you'll progress further to turn a wheel below the main path and solve another puzzle. To open the door. After solving the light door puzzle, look for the circular door nearby that lets you cross under the walkway to an entirely new puzzle. A chain on the left that controls an elevator with a legendary chest with a breakable target and a twilight stone that turns as it's moved. The trick is that the twilight stone is not at the right angle when it's level with the elevator's target. To get around this, move the twilight stone as high as it can go. When you throw your axe at it, it'll bounce behind the elevator shaft and get stuck in some white stone. Next, raise the elevator as high as it can go so that the target is level with the white stone. Recall the axe and it'll break the target. One of four relic hilt tied to the craft and labor known as the Lost Pages, this relic is found as a lore blueprint instead of being able to find the relic itself. After completing Chapter 4, Gross Secret, you can then explore the large area to the north known as the Barrens, and here you will find an elf ruin in the north of the Barrens, and just east of the large elf gate. The building will be occupied by two Dark Elves and a Dark Elf Lord. Once they're defeated, check outside the southwest area of the building. The lore scroll will be there, next to a legendary chest. You'll now be able to craft this relic when speaking to the Dwarven Brothers at the shop, but will need a unique resource to make it. Skirner's Gambantian. This item can only be found by undertaking a series of side quests later in the Forbidden Sands to the east, which you can attempt after Chapter 9 when you can unlock Rune Slates. You'll need to quell this new sandstorm by undertaking the quest, Song of the Sands, which will in turn unlock another favor in the east, Rayar's Gift. Completing this side quest will reveal objects to loot in the different small blue circles of sands in this area, including two halves of a key needed to unlock one last side quest, the Desert Door. Defeat the terrible foe lurking behind the door to gain the item you seek. Another relic you'll gain as part of the story won't be found until Chapter 6, The Reckoning. As your quest takes you through the realm of Vanaheim, you'll reach the abandoned village far in the north but must contend with a powerful Aesir Einherjar commander and mini boss. Located just past the dried up river with a Narnir chest, defeating this boss will net you the relic known as the Glaive of Dotter. The second of four relic hilt tied to the craft and labor known as the Lost Pages. This relic is found as a lore blueprint instead of being able to find the relic itself. The scroll can be found inside the lost treasury in Midgard, but you'll have to undertake a lengthy side quest and puzzle just to get inside. This will require finding two halves of a key, one at the Oarsman to the north, and one at the derelict outpost off to the southwest. With both pieces in hand, return to the large wreckage of the shield and yank it to the right to climb up to the rooftop and open the gate while knocking down a pillar. Return below to yank it to the left and pull out the pillar to stop it from rolling all the way back. Once the shield is centered, pull the wheel and freeze both gears using sigil arrows to open the gate to the locked door. Once you've done this, 
climb up the southern wall when in the final room to get to the roof, then turn around. You'll see that you can jump down and reach a point in the floor. Once you've broken through, the scroll will be directly in front of you. To craft this relic hilt, you'll need the Crackle of Bilskinner, a unique resource. This item can be gained by defeating a raider chieftain, Olaf Nogoutsen, as part of the Animal Instinct side quest favor in Midgard at the Raider Keeps. Another of the lost pages, this scroll blueprint can be found in the Light Elf Ruins in the northeast corner of the Forbidden Sands, where the Elven Sanctum favor takes place. You'll need to clear out the sandstorm to reach it. First, it'll be in the main library room, on a table in the back of the room to the left of the dead tree. It'll be hiding behind a pile of scrolls. The lost page unlocks the hilt of Danesleaf at Brock and Cinder's workshops. This has Kratos slam the ground with an explosion of poison, leaving the hazard behind not unlike those made by Cursed Grimms. To craft it, you'll need the Svefnthorn unique resource to make it. This item can be gained by defeating the mini-boss enemy in the Alberic Hollow in Svartalfheim, located above Dragon Beach. A curious relic with no combat purposes, this relic is hiding in Midgard in an obscure location. Once you have completed Chapter 10, Forging Destiny, and have unlocked a new item to open up pathways, return to Midgard's Lake of Nine, and travel south of Tyar's Temple along a large icy wall above the path to the Lost Treasury. Look for a yellow wind vent in an ice block and destroy it with your new tool to unlock a small area with a dead dwarf holding the relic and a scroll. Unlike other relics, this one is actually used to awaken secret slumbering mini-bosses that you can find in different realms, and use the resources gained from defeating them to craft a new set of armor. The Hilt of Hofod is a story-related relic, and will be gained after you defeat Heimdall in the Vanaheim Abandoned Village during Chapter 13, Creatures of Prophecy. This relic can only be found after Chapter 13, when you take on the side quest favor, Scent of Survival, and unlock the crater region of Vanaheim. While in the crater, you can come across several angry Traveler Champion mini-bosses, one to the east above the path to the sinkhole, another to the southwest along a path that opens at night, and a third along the path to the overgrown tower off on the northwest side. Defeating the second of these travelers, in whatever order you choose, will gain you the hilt relic to use. The last of the four lost pages crafting labors, this final blueprint scroll can only be found after chapter 13, when you take on the side quest favor, Scent of Survival, and unlock the crater region of Vanaheim. While in the crater, travel east to zipline down into the sinkholes, and make your way through the areas south to where a dragon flies by, through a gate you need to open to the west, and double back through caves to fight a giant drake. Past the drake, climb up the tunnels to the north to find the secret wishing well area and a shortcut back to the crater's starting mystic gateway. The path to the shortcut is where you'll find the recipe. Look for the highest broken doorway with a path you can climb through to find a tunnel to the exit and the scroll will be on the ground to the left. In order to craft the hilt, you'll need NAR's cup. Luckily, you may have gained it much earlier as it was along the story path to reach Nidhogg in Chapter 6, The Reckoning. Just to the right of the door leading to where the Nidhogg battle was in the Northern Wilds, you'll find a mini-boss Platon, who drops NAR's cup. One of a few relics that can only be purchased after completing the main story, simply return to the Dwarven shop during post-game exploration. You'll be able to purchase a modified version of the contraption Brock and Sindri used to create the Mystic Gateway Realm travel to use Mimir as a Bifrost attack. Moto Ziner's Call The legendary tuning fork used by Sindri can also be found as a relic during post-game exploration in a very unexpected place. You'll need to travel to Niflheim and look for a new path to the left of the Raven Tree, leading to the Azer Prison Wreckage. Here, among other things, 
You can spot a legendary chest near the top of the ruined prison, but will require you to move the first bar in the middle of the prison up to the top and the opposite bar down below it to climb back up and leap up to the top platform of the prison. Just next to the legendary chest is this special relic, but it's easy to miss. A sword forged to bring justice, this defensive relic can only be gained after finding and freeing the souls of all 48 of Odin's ravens. Once you have completed this task, you'll be ambushed by the Raven Keeper, who will fight you in the nearby training arena in Niflheim. You'll need to defeat her, and the many enemies she summons, including an icy dragon, and the relic will be yours after defeating them all. This legendary relic is first gained as a key item during the main story in the Word of Fate, and unlocks the ability to summon and fight various berserkers at each of the berserker gravestones throughout the Nine Realms. In order to claim its true power, you must find and defeat all twelve berserkers, and return to the king's grave to challenge King Ralph Crocky himself. You can unlock the relic's true power and add it to your active inventory by defeating this ultimate boss battle. And that's how you locate all the relics in the game. If you found this video helpful, leave a like, comment, share. Let me know what you thought of the speech program, because if I use it in the future for longer articles, I will be able to get out important news updates to you faster. I hope this helped.